Live from the mighty haunted Veedberg's airship. It's not haunted now, is it? It's Happy Holidays, Veedberg's airship. Uh, I'm Travis Lippert, CEO of Verks Unlimited Limited, better known as Veedberg's. And I'm Julie Richardson. And you are? Oh, I'm Carolyn King. How are you? <laughs> Carolyn King? Oh, yes. And Yadira Silva from, from Denver. From Denver. Yeah. You have a Denver accent. A well, thick Denver accent. Thick Denver I'm accent. just trying to be cool, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but originally from Ecuador, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. Playing Dre Gaines in the background. Uh, thank you, as always, for not suing us, Dre. Um, love the music. Today, uh, Today is special. We, you know, we had a conversation with some girlfriends uh, at our holiday party about needing unique gifts. And that kind of got me thinking about what are some unique gifts that uh, we could get our cannabis family members, you know, because once you've got them a pen and and a vape, you kind of run out of ideas. So Mm -hmm. we've got some good stocking stuffers. One of them, of course, is our products. Um, But um, we're going to get to those two and see if we have a special deal going, do we here in just a little bit? I think bit. so. I think yeah. we've got a special deal, but so uh, we'll see if that worked. I, these are two of our cannabis family members. They're always at events. They're yes. there by our side. I, we were table to table at uh, mm-hmm. an event for new pollution for a festival bazaar. Mm-hmm. And you were there and I'm like, this is my show. This Yay. is my unique product. Yes, so right on. we're bringing it to you. So, so and I like the story behind both of these. Let's let's start with you. You tell us about your seat. Thank you very much, um, Julie, for having me here. Also, every everybody in the audience. I tend to talk a little bit slow. I'm sorry, but you know, it's the first time ever in this type of media. Um, trying to do my best here. Now, I come from Ecuador, like I said, and a special item that I found from my country is a Tawa seed pipe. Mm -hmm. They go to some places where palm trees are located and they grab all these seeds and they handcraft it. I have the brilliant idea to have cannabis companies to advertise through the seed. Because remember at the first stand, Cannabis is a seed, and we are consuming a seed. And if we can sign, basically, on your seed, hey, we're doing really a difference. So these are these are palm tree seeds. Yes. Mm-hmm. That you've, uh, like any smart person, turned into a a, a like pipe. A pipe. Show them the a other pipe. ones. It's like cool a, too. Uh, we have different ones and is this a seed too mm-hmm. yeah How well big does the seed? seed is on the very front oh, okay. but in this part over here is another product called wood it's the finest wood from ecuador because all this is from ecuador and it's very accommodated it's ecological good for the the uh, the the world the the land um it happens to me that i also a member of gaia Mm-hmm. And they talk about life, and they talk about wellness, and and how our decisions impact in our future generations. Wait, and, uh, you said a member of Gaia, and they both went mm-hmm, and <laughs> yeah. <I> went. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be. So what, what is what now. is this Gaia? It's an online streaming channel oh, that okay. um, is all about metaphysical mm-hmm. spiritual i practice kundalini and my tai chi um on there um you can get really nerdy and get into <laughs> ancient aliens ancient mm-hmm. religions um i'm it's gonna just get some weird ads on my phone now yeah it just yeah. heard oh, kundalini yeah. for the first time <laughs> <laughs> and then That's ancient amazing. aliens right, Is right. That better? would you like to see more ads on kundalini <laughs> so a yeah. good impact a mission that i think they had brought to me is two things. With the cannabis industry being so interested in the education, I wanted to go back to my country and help those mothers, those single mothers who don't have some support to pay for schools for their kids. Comparing United States and Ecuador, um, there's, there is a disadvantage, I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be able to collaborate. I know I'm saying out loud this and 
by humanity, I'm trying not to, but with your help, with mm -hmm. cannabis help, um, I think that could be possible. And and I believe that those kids at the end of the story, something great would happen. Um, so yeah. you're do you've you're donating ten percent of the profits yes. from these uh, pipes that you make uh, to a school in Ecuador. Yes. And I think that's admirable. I love that. So, and I think it's smart business too. I think that mm -hmm. if you want to start a, a good business, you need to start by finding the nonprofits and figuring out how you can help them. Yes. Because I mean, we as business people know that when a product is good, it sells by itself. But then it's not only the idea of, oh, how much I can get, how much I can get, but also what else are you going to give back? because you are here in this world for this amount of, of time but how much you can give out to your next generations that also will be a good impact and i'm just doing a little bit of a work yeah and now well, you've got something else that makes an excellent mm -hmm. christmas oh, gift too there's right a great now. like corporate tchotchke i'm already interested yes <laughs> like, like sensi Mm -hmm. Is that cool or what? How do you make these with a laser? No, they handcraft. What? Yes. Talented. How much do the? How much does this cost? How much does this cost? Um, so I brought it to the to the public in the only humanly price for twenty dollars, and if it has the hemp, it's a necklace that you can yeah. tie it up, lower down. With the hemp, it's twenty seven. Got it. Mm -hmm. And the, so it's like the good pipes. for walking back to your car at night. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I love that peace pipe. <laughs> so if I were to uh, get some uh, Veed Verks or mm -hmm. some Brengone Racing pipes made, yes, how definitely. many? What's the minimum order quantity for a business like ours? Let me give you an example. I also there's our friend Dank. Yeah. Thank dispensary. That's my first dispensary who opened the door for me. I love Dank Jay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You really and you were even wearing the jacket. Yes. He, does, he sells oh, yeah, yeah. the jackets. <laughs> um, um, let me show it to you. Well, I'm very cold. I'm a cold lady. So yes, there you go. See? Oh, wow. The logo on the back. How did I not see that earlier? Isn't that cool? Wow. Thank yeah. you. Also, and those are wool with the alpaca blend. Yeah. In my in my country, they have the alpaca jacket. Um, as you may know, nice animals, um, but they are very expensive. To tell you the truth, alpaca, real alpaca. Hmm. So we come with a new version. They're very demanding. Is, <laughs> uh, yes. Needy, needy animals. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be careful with those, though. <laughs> Can I just say real quick, hi, thanks for tuning in. Jenny Gold, Ricky Starling, Amory Doyle, thank you. Uh, Chris Smith, Brian Ringwater, Michael Miller, thank you all oh, for joining. Oh, yay, yay. Share, share, share. Going over some good. fancy, fancy, awesome. thank you. cool, interesting Christmas now, or holiday we have gifts. These good jackets, warm jackets. That is um, thick. That's very thick. thick. And also, That's it nice. has a place where you can put your most delicate stuff a little stash, stash box. yeah the cops are never going to think that yeah. you've got a so, secret stash box on right, the, yeah. on the mm -hmm. so you can put in your sleeves in your sleeves so basically take uber if you're wearing that jacket right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's See? great and you can put your wheel you can put your, your your car um you're not thinking oh my god i dropped yeah whatever that thing mm -hmm. may be right so thank you um and thanks. if you say if you don't want you just want one yeah. for normal wear. Mm -hmm. look at the pattern on we this. have nice many too. different sizes yeah uh Love that parent parent colors we can be creative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this one nice so how much do these run let's go oh these ones are That's for pretty. 60. it's not bad mm -hmm. wow Mm -hmm. And Dank sells those in the dispensary. Mm -hmm. Could I get one with Feynman diagrams all over? Like yes, you physics. May. Really? Yeah. I how mean, about a how about a blimp? The 
<laughs> a dirigible. That was a trick. <laughs> yes. Well, we have, we're trying to use three colors at the same time. So mm -hmm. one, the base, two uh, around it, and one more like this one, too. Yeah. We can be creative. Like I said, we can do black and then dif uh, different depending on the logo basically mm -hmm. so you give me the logo i send them to my uh, designers they give me a, a proof and then i'll show them to you and you can tell me yes i love it and i know you surely will do i been in the industry walking meeting and sensing night in california and uh, many other places they like it mm -hmm. uh, but i'm here now <laughs> yeah. and I know there is many steps to to follow, and one of these days I will be having your. Well, you've got something else exciting going on. Wait, oh. I'm sorry, I have a question. Okay. okay. Yeah. Have you ever tried using other stuff besides alpaca fur? Mm -hmm. I have a dog. Okay. That, uh, a Welsh corgi that oh. sheds so much that I bet I serious. could. I bet it would t <laughs> in one summer I could get enough <laughs> hair to make a. No, Travis. I, I personally don't think so. Okay. Okay, just, I don't think so. Cause right. You're just making me laugh. But <laughs> this is. A Tell cotton. me you wouldn't buy a corgi fur sweater. <laughs> no. <That's, that's, laughs> no. I bet there would be wouldn't. a market for that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, we should go and get high, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so what were, what were you saying before? Well, I was gonna get her to talk about her new store in Brighton. Oh. And, Brighton. Yes, and it's yes. So, being in the in in cannabis, it has taught me so many things, and one of the things is about CBD. So I'm in love with CBD, how the benefits and how it's helping so many other people. And I thought that having a little store to start up close to my neighborhood uh, that could also impact my neighborhood because in Brighton they don't have CBD and I think they're missing out. They're missing out the health, they're missing out the, um, the probability of feeling better. Mm -hmm. So Brighton, my address is 15 North Main Street in Brighton, Colorado. And I am going to be opening on Thursday if you can help me to see the day, that would be awesome. Let me see. Thursday of next week. Next week, uh huh. Thursday the, the uh, oh, 20th. The 20th, look at that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will be opening all day. And Elisha, my beautiful friend Elisha from Kaya, mm -hmm. she's also helping me to bring more and more friends to my opening. It's going to be a huge, I'm so, so so you don't know how much excited yeah, I'm yeah. inside. Yeah, really animated there. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm so thank you. God bless you. Thank yeah. you, really. And day two, remember that my my cause is here. And please, I I, I love I that. I have so much respect for that. You're a brand new small small business that you're starting here, and um, I know that you know money is never in abundance when you're starting any kind of a business and yet you've de you've dedicated right out of the shoot to to donate 10 percent to uh and to i honestly can say that from the beginning that i start selling it i have um re a reunion or unify or um save that's the word that i'm looking i have saved 300 dollars nice. so far so I'm expecting still to do more. Um, my first client internationally is Leaf Kana. I have their jackets. We we send them jackets of Leaf Kana in my in my Facebook. In fact, you can find me. You can find some of the um, photos from them. Um, I this 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 to me sounds. So so wonderful, so excitement, and and I wanted to like invite everybody to continue like cannabis because hey, cannabis is great, it's good. I mean, gives you this energy and, and positivism, and um, 
it's a, and I, to me, it relieves me from the pain that I have in my back. So I have said what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Please go on. Well. <laughs> Don't no. be rude. <laughs> this lady, I know this lady. I, I have I met her in, in what do you say, Novolution? Yeah. Yes. Is it a good time to talk yeah. about Novolution? Amy. Yes. Your Anne Marie Doyle yes. and her, all of her Anne. hard work. And <laughs> yes, we, we definitely are Canna family. We've been to, but thank you so much for sharing your passion. I am. You know, I, if we put you there by the mic thinking you're going to be quiet, but I know you. I know how you get animated and excited and passionate. And so This mission is what makes me feel that way. Um, I want to say that it, to me, myself, it seems that I'm, I'm another person, more energetic and, and, and outspoken and somehow starting to have all these words that I wanted to say out loud and, and tell you think about us and collaborate with us and life is going to be better and we can make a, a good impact in our environment with not only using our vapes but also use a tawa seed pipe because i believe that these pipes they will evolve i mean natural life evolves and 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 because it wants to continue living the nature makes their ways to make a new life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if we have this tendency to use something to smoke with, let's let's do that with the tower. I'm not saying don't do babe. I'm just saying with more pipe that you use, it will be one more in the ground that somehow will impact our, our environment. Right. I'm still kind of stuck on the Welsh corgi fur <laughs> sweater. Yes, Let it please. Go, Travis. Give like, me, give I could me. export. I, I could export so much corgi fur to Ecuador that it would cause a, a trade imbalance that made the news. <laughs> well, this oh, one is dog. it's um, oh, it's a cotton a with with um, oh. acrylic, and by the blend, he makes a very smooth and warm texture. And with the bright colors mm -hmm. that it comes, talking about just the the idea of marketing your company, what you want is to brought that attention. You say, here I am, right? Now the designs, we can accommodate the designs. You can tell me, That's look, amazing. I have this color, this other color. Mm -hmm. um, if you get one time so much of that hair, I want to see if you can make one, um, one, one coat for your dog for himself. Honestly, see, that's a bet. Okay, I, I guarantee you, I could get that much for. Now. Okay. Uh, granted, we're in the winter time, but uh, okay. give me a year. Okay. I'll it's gonna be a thing. And then we also wanted to see in we're a year weigh it. how many how many uh, cannabis companies are advertising. See, what's the? Did you tell me what's the minimum order quantity on that? If I want to yes, do a bunch 40. of beef perks, 40. 40. 40. And I have the sizes from S, M, L, XL, and XXL. Eight per sizes. Okay. Okay. How about with these? What's the MOQ for? These ones right here, I start in 10 minimum. Okay. At $10. Okay. Now these other ones with the hemp is 10 minimum, $15. Okay. Okay. We normally take 30 days. Is it because it's bigger? Because surely I can get oh. you a better deal on hemp string than $5 extra. Probably because the drill, the time to drill. Because drill. they have to, I not only have to buy the, um, the hemp, but yeah. also they have to make the the uh, the bracelet i mean the the oh yeah it does it's tight kind of intricately yes. it's got this yes. really cool little yeah, sliding slides. double mm -hmm. knot on it yeah yeah that's cool and the hole they drill is that that's not done with the drill they do they do that with, or is I that think, hand all hand also? i don't think that could be with a hand because it's very thick okay and it's yeah. it's very hard okay that's okay. like a rock drill. or something mm -hmm. is this 
like a Dremel or no on uh, on the side oh yes on the outside they handcraft it now there are so many secrets in here don't get me wrong I mean I don't know the story because they are secretly handcrafting their art and and now I'm exposing them so <laughs> hopefully I'm doing a good job yeah you're doing a great job. yeah, yeah. Um, an awesome job <laughs> so Carolyn you Hello. you brought uh Let's talk about you a little bit. First. Yes, hi. Like, <laughs> what, do you, I, I, what do you do with yourself? Well, I, I well, what I used to do with myself, I was a correctional social worker. Really? So um, most of my, my well, most of my work was done in the Bay Area. So I, for a period of time, I did work at San Quentin. So it, that's an experience, a whole different story. But what kind of brought me into the cannabis industry? I, I you know, you, like any social worker, you just burn out. And I had burned out and uh, wanted to have a business, but I just didn't know what it was. I tried a couple of things, didn't work. Um, my husband- Like what? Uh, I, insurance, tried to sell insurance. Uh -huh. Negative, negative, no, no, no. I, I mean, I understand the importance of it, but I, I should not be selling that. It, it bores it, me to tears. It, right. It, it is the like, most boring thing I can think it's of. It's like, I, I know it's important, <laughs> but I can't even stand me talking about it. It just, you know, yeah, I, it was, it, I had no passion for it. Right. I understand the importance, but no passion. I thought I was going to go into nursing. No passion for it. I could have gotten through school and all of that, but zero passion. And uh, probably not the best thing to do after you burn out in social work, because guess what you're going to be dealing with? People in their worst. So I'm like, ah. Uh. So day two of my husband's retirement from law enforcement, he enters the room and says, I want to get high. So. <laughs> Now, I had smoked before, but you know, when we were dating, I, we didn't know, he, he's a boy scout too, so he didn't. And uh, I thought, oh yeah, I could, I could just make this recipe. I can find the butter. And every uh, recipe that I found was eight hours, uh, a pound of herb and, or mm. trim and, and, and I was, I was not willing to do that. And I was just complaining to the bud tender one day because we decided to just go and, and buy um, a, a edible um, at, from the dispensary. And it was the driest brownie. I had, it was uh, my easy bake brownies were better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they really were. And I was, I was whining. He goes, oh, you need a Moda Pot. Had no idea what that was. And I, uh, he gave me the link. And I, I looked up, I was like, no, 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 10 minutes on the stove to make my butter or oil, there's no way. And um, I found an article in the Westward and it was about Brandon Shepard and the Motopod, he, he invented the Motopod, he and uh, a couple of his friends. And um, then I went and found Brandon. So <laughs> I, I, I just said, hey, do you have a distributor? And he said, no. And I just thought, why doesn't everybody have one of these? Ten minutes on the stove, you've got your cannabis butter or oil. Um, and we know our extraction rates. So we know that you, with butter or bacon fat, which is very high fat, mm -hmm. you're going to get a 70% extraction rate. So if you're using flour, you can, you know, and how many grams you buy, that's an easy calculation to find out what you're going to get in your final product. So bacon fat has an 80% extraction rate. A 70% 70, extraction 70%, 70%. So yes. you get 70%. We'll talk. How do you get the? So you first you cook down the bacon and get the get the. Oh yeah, fat, yeah, yeah, just straighten right? off your fat. All right, and straighten so it out bacon those, fat and no then how about dinner. some. Uh, Death I Star have never from Dank. Of using bacon fat. It's I have hey, look, we've got two. Right. So with my bacon fat, I How'd actually that work out? Um, just happens that was an accident. <laughs> that, but Death Star from Dank, and this is a, uh, uh, let's just call it twenty six percent THC. Uh -huh. So twenty six times. Okay, so let me do. I'll, I'll give you my calculations. I can run them right quick on on. So okay, if good because I can't. Like uh, Gorilla Glue, which is can be about thirty percent. Um, uh, so you have five grams, so five grams, and you have to convert that 30% to 300 because we got to go, you know, metric. And so you're going to get 1500 milligrams of THC available in that five grams of flour. 
since we know what our extraction rate is, say we want to do some bacon fat, we're going to get a 70% extraction rate. So that um, 1,500 times 0.7, mm -hmm. you're going to end up with 1,050 milligrams in your your uh, half a cup of butter because that's all you need bacon to put fat. in it. Oh, bacon fat, yes, mm -hmm. for sure. And if you break that up into, by tablespoon, eight tablespoons per uh, stick, that's 131.25 milligrams of THC per tablespoon. That's a lot, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Yeah. That's a good So, dose. yes, so you really don't need that much. And I think what happens a lot of times when people don't know their extraction rates, they just put in what they think. And, they, and that leads to overdosing, you have a bad experience, and you think you don't do edibles, and I think that's not right. So with the edible, you know, microdosing, doing it at home, um, you can control what you, you know, make and how much you need. Maybe you need a mega dose mm -hmm. uh, or you need to dose throughout the day you can create your own and I use a hundred percent of my the herb so once you I do my extraction there's this little the wet plant matter we why call don't you pup. show us oh, how yes. to do yeah. this oh I'm sorry I could do that I'm gonna scoot out of wanna, the way and let so this is close. the overall this is the same like kind of functioning yes. this looks like a Cuban yes. coffee maker yes it was fashioned after the mocha pot which is a coffee maker. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. For yeah, sure. it just looks like for if you get that uh, mm -hmm. Don Bastello coffee and put, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the uh, yellow can. Yeah. <laughs> For the it's morning the after the after the holidays. Yes, the yes. So what so you're gonna you... do with that bottom portion is just put. Um, say we just do butter. We'll just work with that. Uh, one stick of softened butter, and that's eight tablespoons, and one fourth cup of water. Just a fourth cup of water in the base. All right. Sorry, I had to and, correct that. <laughs> and then you're please. going to mush this on. Here. Wait, so a, a full stick of butter? Mm -hmm. In the base and a fourth cup of water. And a fourth cup of water. You mush on your top mush and that's it on. your basket. And you're going to put three and a half to five grams of your decarboxylated herb. I use the hour method uh, to decarb and... Um, because I think that's a fuller an hour method. An hour method. At what you can do that. I start out at two fifteen for Fahrenheit, fifteen. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Yes, um, for the first fifteen minutes, and then I crank it up for the last forty-five to two forty-five. Nothing over two fifty, and I just let that bake off in the in the oven. I put it in a ramekin with um, a double layer of heavy-duty foil so it doesn't stink. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't have, I have a deca decarboxylators, but before I got that. I would just do it in the oven. So, um, so that is a method you can so do you decarb for sure. Put your mm -hmm. three point five grams. By the yes. way, is just the same hand. amount of uh, weed that you can have in Kansas if you have that ten dollar tax stamp oh. that they honestly sell. Three point five, three point five grams, mm -hmm. or one. One pill of something. One pill I don't, of something. It's a oh, great. Joke, but um. <laughs> so then you um put on the top, and you know, if you show the bottom, yeah. you don't have to strain anymore. So the motor pot allows strains out the butter from the cannabis, so you don't have to do that. Everything gets trapped right there in the middle, and that of uh, using pressure and steam, it pushes the water and the butter up into the uh, upper uh, portion of the motor pot, away from the heat source. And there are two little holes. I don't know if you see that. Uh, you probably no. can't. Yeah, but trust that there are two holes in the side, and that's where the butter will just kind of come out and, and live in the little reservoir. And once that's done, you'll hear that familiar sound. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's done. And you just pour it off, put it in the refrigerator to solidify and separate. And a couple hours, I poke two holes in it, pour off the water, because the, no cannabis is in the water uh, and you're ready to rock and roll so you already done your calculation per tablespoon if you're using that Gorilla Glue number four um, 131.25 milligrams plus or minus because we are dealing with a plant but that's the, the closest mm -hmm. we can get um, and I, I don't say want to say it's a, a definitive I just kind of like I said plus or minus on either side but you, it's the best I think um, I've seen as far as extractors out there trying to figure out how to dose myself at home mm -hmm. and my husband who is ex-law enforcement so you know he's a little banged up so I make my topicals in there too. I also uh, will infuse some coconut oil and make bath bombs. So I do, I mean, everything. Do you cook with coconut oil too? I cook with coconut oil. I cook the bacon fat. One of my favorite mm -hmm. things to do with the bacon fat is to add a little bit of that 
uh, when I make my popcorn on the stove. Nice. So I put in my grapeseed oil mm -hmm. and maybe a tablespoon of the infused bacon fat or all bacon fat, but it, for me it's a, the flavor is too much. Mm -hmm. And so you have um, an infused set of oil on your popcorn. It's delicious mm -hmm. and yeah. it tastes like bacon. It sounds delicious. delicious. I am hungry. I, really <laughs> I should have brought some. <laughs> yeah. but, but the, and, um, and using the, the wet plant matter after you're done the extraction, you kind of know what's left in there, so don't throw that away. You can use that for other things. I've made a gremolata, a pesto. Wait, I've thrown oh, it in. Gremolata? Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it makes <laughs> a really good pasta. Yes. yes. You, if you yeah, oh, yeah. used it yes. better. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Or I make a compound butter with it. So I'll add other um, culinary herbs and infuse my infused uh, butter. And I put that on some chicken or steak while it's cooking. So it basically we, melts. We should try that. We were talking about doing empanadas. Yes, we should. Yes. We yes. had so many thoughts. Yes. You know? <laughs> I know. We, uh, we're bringing all these wonderful people yes. together. And, so be, and they are so creative. Oh, I love it really very much. How yeah. And, oh, I'm sorry. Can I, was, I want to oh, say yeah. uh, uh, LS Love. I still don't know what to call you, LS Love. Um, love. Phil Kelly. Yes. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. Future, future Senator Phil Kelly. You're doing it again, Phil. Yes. We, hi, Phil. We need more time next time. Well, he's got but, it this time. We, yeah. Um, Chuck Ellison. Chuck, I have a story for you or a partial story for you. Oh. And uh, our altitude check is, uh, what's our, is Josh here? He's in the back making noise. Altitude, altitude check, I think it's uh, 8,250 feet above sea level, far, far above that of West Point or Annapolis. <laughs> so, so I forgot to mention we do have a cookbook, which I, I think it just um, serves as a primer to start when working with the Motopot. One of my favorite um, things to do when I first started working with the Motopot was to make my own coffee creamer. So in the bottom of portion of the um, Motopot, you'll just put a, a half a cup of cream or heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. You don't need water and put your herb uh, in there just like you would do it normally. And then a, a tea bag. I use a lim uh, was it a vanilla hazelnut. Mm -hmm. And so as it in extracts and infuses, it does that with the Oh wow. Uh, How so interesting. Pour that off and put it in the refrigerator in the morning. Baby. And you got your own and you can use mm -hmm. like I use the tea, you know, mm -hmm. I don't you use You can use whatever sugar. you want. You can use that whatever is you want. so cool. Yeah. You're doing nonprofit work with yes, what new evolution with your no. I'm talking about what you're doing with um, the minorities group. Oh, the uh, yes, minorities for medical marijuana. That's another group. I, apparently, uh, one best yes, yes. Uh, organization, yes, nonprofit yes, organization, yes. which is That's very awesome. exciting. But um, my hope is to change the conversation. Um, in minority uh, communities around cannabis. Um, as a social worker, I'm gonna just tell you, I wish my uh, some of my old clients only smoked marijuana, but it was harder stuff. That was the last thing that was their, their problem. And so, you know, coming from that and also seeing the inside of the sort of criminal justice system, mm -hmm. inside of corrections, mm -hmm. really changed who I was. And now looking at um, possibly reversing those charges and, and the expungements uh, of those charges, you can't have people making money off of this and still jailing people over it. I this know. This is the it's... most ridiculous thing. It makes, it, <laughs> it makes as much sense as the fact that cannabis, I mean, it's tied directly into it. Cannabis is mm -hmm. listed as a Schedule One drug. Absolutely. Yeah. Except don't, I'm going to talk about that. But uh, cannabis is a Schedule, no, a Schedule One drug. Mm -hmm. And to be a Schedule One drug, you must meet three criteria, one of which is that you must, a drug must have no accepted medical use. Mm -hmm. But the U.S. government has had a patent on cannabinoids as uh, neuroprotectants and antioxidants for couple decades is patent number six six three zero five zero seven google it six six three zero five zero seven there's a facebook group talk to the six six three zero five zero seven hand started by amy don berlin hiltebrand who also started american medical refugees so shout out to all of them right on. So, but yes. it makes no and so they use this this law that doesn't make any sense period it mm -hmm. can't be schedule one it has medical use and then they're applying that law asymmetrically based upon 
your race and in and in particular your ability to to fight it mm -hmm. and throwing uh, poor people of color in jail and they built a whole system around it. It's an industry. A, it's traded a whole on industry. The You're, stock exchange. Some <laughs> industries need to go out of business. I'm mm. sorry, but we're changing the subject. We I remember that we started saying that we are here because we're thinking about giving. Remember, it's Christmas and the gift for our oh, families right. and and Thank our you friends. Because so we did go off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we absolutely a, did. That, that's, uh, okay. that's okay. But that's part of the overall story that we've been telling this yes. whole yes. year is we're telling. And something momentous just happened. Yesterday, the House of Representatives passed the Farm Bill. Mm -hmm. The Senate passed it the day before. Um, Trump, I guess, is supposed to sign it next week. I was hoping by this Friday. But the Farm Bill... Um, legalizes cannabis sativa L and defines can or uh, legalizes hemp and mm -hmm. defines hemp as cannabis sativa L with less than 0.3 percent delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol on a dry weight basis so well, give me five uh, <laughs> so, I like the way that sounds well right there's a, there's a, at least 113 known phytocannabinoids in the cannabis mm -hmm. plant and delta 9 THC is just one of them and so the other 112, as far as the federal law goes, um, are uh, they're descheduled. They're agricultural commodities. You can grow plants that specifically for these different cannabinoids mm. and get crop insurance for them and get uh, loans mm. from regular banks. It's so it's a big, it's, it's a huge. big deal. You can, and this would work fantastic with. Uh, Bunch yeah, of, do uh, your, yeah, Kansas do your, grown hemp yeah. next year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, do your own edibles or do your own topicals. Why not? Or smoke mm -hmm. it. Or smoke, or smoke it. it. Or smoke it. Go. Slap it up oh, and rub it down. Oh, but we one thing. <laughs> what about if we put some lotions in our hands? Because my hands are kind of dry. dry <laughs> yeah, we, we have to, I guess we need to plug. I want to get one I would, that's You know open. what? I would love, I want to try it's, that if we can. Let me get one that's... You know, I'm still you know working because I, I pulled these off the uh, website. Oh no, it was uh, already... store. Oh, or that one. Yeah. So I want to put them back. I, I was like, oh, these check them bags. Out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not taking this away. This is our uh, no, no, no. soothing lotion. But it dropped out your pocket, um, your phone, and so my hands oh, no, are no, I put it down. It's a 500 yeah. milligram CBD lotion. Huh? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Before these wonderful seats, I um, I do construction cleaning. And oh. my hands are very, very dry. Oh, yeah. Since I starting to use this lotion, it's very nice. Today I didn't put it, but I'm gonna have a little bit of that right now, so we can. As soon as I figure out the lid. It's very nice. We so, switched pumps. Like it's oh, tough to as you spool up, you have to, like your suppliers who you got the first set of bottles from. You know when you call them and ask for ten times as many bottles, then they're like, hey. It's not really the yeah. kind of business we do, so you got to talk to the next, oh. you know. So in the okay. course of switching suppliers, um, maybe your there mom, we go. maybe your mom, it switched from the way that it locked. <laughs> the pumps cream. used to lock that way, and then they switched. My mom's passed, so no. I don't know <laughs> that. Why you didn't tell me that? No. Never came up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not like, so hey, girl, how you doing? Mom died. You know, no. just, <laughs> yes, <that's laughs> it just it, it never happened. Mm, <laughs> smells very nice. I, you know, I have never. Yeah, it's very nice. Because every time we were, you know, be together, you would have a mm -hmm. table, you'd have a swarm of people yes. around the table. So I'm yes. always like, well, maybe I can glean. <laughs> well, you know, and, and then there was that one get. time, I mean, I, oh my gosh, there was swarm, 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 swarm. And I took a quick oh. break down the hall and you graciously took over my table. I did. It was it was a half a second. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. People are looking. People are looking. And I was like, I can't explain any of this. <laughs> but I'm going to try. Oh. Hi. Here, you need to write some on. I noticed oh, you, you, no. you got a few more pumps. My, my Yeah, you put on just, a lot. I should have stopped you. The, but, you this know, we learn as we go. so fast. Well, yes. <gasps> it's... It I get well. so tickled with the nail lady. She she takes my hand and she says, "You're in my age." She goes, "You have the hands of a young girl." She goes, "I yes. want what you have." So I left her a sample yesterday. When oh, I went this! <laughs> and then she tried to cut off your hands, and that's yeah. why you wore the well, yeah. attachment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very jealous. <laughs> yeah. But that is lovely. Yeah. 
That's oh, terpenes. Really? Yeah, it's terpenes. That's terpenes. We looked at the. See, I can't walk around like this. I'm gonna just put it on my nose. It'll so fade. <laughs> It'll. It doesn't stick around very to. long. Actually, I don't know if I want it, to it fade. Uh, un- that's lovely. Yes. We could try to come out with a non-fade. Non-fade. Thing, but th- that's a. That's I mean, a. If you uh, put this on in the summertime, you want a light scent mm-hmm. because nobody should taste you when you walk in the elevator because <laughs> it's like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> yeah, uh, or sir. So you know. Remember, we're gonna have this Amelia, five hundred milligram CBD soothing lotion. Soothing yes. lotion. Soothing lotion. If you go to vverks dot com uh, no, today that, through uh, the... tomorrow night okay. at midnight, mm-hmm. um, oh, and so it's just. just him. Add okay. a bottle okay. of I Amelia to, to your cart. It, it uh, should magically owl. pop yeah, up okay. at checkout or something and say, hey, you can get another one for 50% off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, it's Christmas time. Get one for Santa Claus, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Us. Give <laughs> your grandma. Down those chimneys. That, yeah. That's nice. Well, you know what? I would love, that would be great for, you don't know what to get that person in the mm-hmm. office. Mm-hmm. And it's not like it smells a lot. And if they already wear cologne, it doesn't, won't clash because it does well, fade. how much do you like the person in the office? Like a, a regular person in the office? Oh, no, not a regular Because I would, person. I would give okay. them, we yeah. made now, one okay, ounce. Okay, then yeah. there's, those like, are even more perfect. That's what to give the person in the office. They're perfect little <laughs> stocking stuffers. Yes. They're, mm-hmm. they're priced right at uh, $14.95. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's a... Uh, you know, I give like your grandma it. a little yeah. bit of CBD and they don't for Christmas. Leak in your purse. Nice. They they close. I mean, it's a good travel size. Those are convenience. perfect for yeah. Yeah, the person in the office because every, you can give everybody one. You know, and nobody's going to get jealous, and, right? And or for, unless you want to. And do for that. my mom and maybe my <laughs> aunt, those bigger ones. Yeah, these bigger ones. Yeah. Oh, is that the big bottle right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's for the, that's for the. Uh, you know the people who you really love. Only give it to the people you love. Only people we you trademark. really, really love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because not only that, um, that it moisturizes, but also it prevents from you having pain. So remember, mm-hmm. it's not the lotion we're 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 consuming or we are using CBD. Yeah. It's a whole you, lifestyle. Yeah, it's, it's a layering. It, yeah, you yeah. Know? But I I think sometimes that people just forget that little piece of information that we're using CBD for pain relief. So moms and aunts and and yourself who has your hands very stressed from cooking, doing laundry, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kids, and so many other things, lotion. Uh, It's gonna be good for you. How's your headache? It is good. It is good. She because... came in here with a stress headache, and she mm-hmm. she rubbed it on. You know, mm-hmm. that sometimes curious. helps, especially the soothing. Yeah. This is a. Well, I mean, we we sell it as soothing lotion and invigorating mm-hmm. lotion, but really, what it is is it's lotion that has um, five hundred milligrams of very effective painkiller in it, and it all, and the soothing one has terpenes that are reverse engineered from indica type of mm-hmm. cannabis strains and it has a lot of linalool in it and all of these other very indica type of terpenes lavender that's why it smells yes. like lavender and then the invigorating has a lot of uh, beta caryophylline in yeah. it and d-limonene and mm-hmm. uh, they are soothing and invigorating because the terpenes are indica and sativa you know, whatever that is yeah. I want to ask you about the cannabolish too. Can we talk? Yes, about let's talk about Can cannabolish. So, yeah, especially yeah. because you were talking about decarbing. Yes. Um, decarbing cannabis before you put it mm-hmm. in your so, moda pot. You, know, you got the candle and you have a spray. I love these um, candles. These those are, are lovely. Yes. These are uh, cannabolish candles. And the thing is, once you're done with that candle, it's, it's still a nice, nice, it's yeah. a yeah. nice green jar. It's a yes. beautiful yes. color of green. And the, actually, the new ones. Um, or, you know, when they're new, like, and that's a good stocking stuffer too. Yeah, it is. yeah. Yes. well, that's kind of heavy. It's kind of well, heavy. You know, I, yeah. I mean, you need a, a well secured <laughs> stocking, but these are these are uh, really amazing candles. It's they're made by a company who's, um, you know, been in the in the odor removal business uh, for a long time yeah. and like many existing businesses, they got into the cannabis industry, said, hey, we could do a good job with that. And sure enough, sure enough, they can. This, uh, it really is surprisingly effective at removing um, cannabis odors from 
the air. And it doesn't leave, it, it doesn't make your house smell like cannabis and juicy fruit or, yeah. or something odd. It's not a cloying, yeah. gross mm -mm. smell. Yeah. And it's gone when you snuff out the candle. And, and it's it not a chemical the like way. the Febreze and all yeah. of those yeah. Glade. Yeah. yeah. That's not good for you. Yeah. Well, and if Lungs. you have respiratory issues, yeah. the spray is safe. You can, like, cleaning yeah, they and make stuff a spray. like that. You know, the fumes. It's not an aerosol. It's no, a no, it's mist. A, no. Keep it's it a in mist. your car. Yeah. And it's like a like, terpene on terpene science is mm -hmm. how they kind of explain it. Yeah, this. so they use terpenes in their candles just like we use in our okay. products. And that's kind of how we made a, a connection with them. But oh. this, uh, tell you, like, leaving an event such as the normal event last night. Um, <laughs> I wasn't I, there, but I heard. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it was cool to have this in my car and give my clothes a little spray down. A spritz, spritz. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah. you don't... that jacket still cracks me up. The one that says weed on the front and the back. <laughs> I know, right? Like, Just in case trying to, know. Trying to figure out how that could fit into my life, and I just don't. <laughs> but I don't understand then why not. You use it you love it and you yeah. like it so yeah. why don't you just wear it um see because i can give you a perfect example of why i don't wear it why because i was driving down i-70 mm -hmm. doing the speed limit exactly and using my turn signal perfectly and a cop pulled me over for no reason mm. and um mm. and said uh yeah, yeah, I'm just going to give you a warning, but you uh, failed to use your turn signal a couple miles back. It's like, really? And um, so I waited there by the side of the road for like 15 minutes, and he asked me all these personal questions about why I was, you know, but it was because of my Colorado license plate. Oh. And that's, I don't. You were in Kansas. I, don't, I was in Kansas. Okay, that's why. Yeah, the plate. Exactly. The plate. It, was the, it was the license plate, yes. and to me, like um, the type of thing that I might wear that to would be an industry event, but I would definitely throw it in the trunk before, because you don't, no, you know, you don't drive because, her. You know, I, I believe that this jacket is very warm. And it's that beautiful. I don't know why you want to hide something that you already are comfortable because the police, with. Because the, way the police, police because I don't want to get to targeted that. by the they police. Don't yes. I don't oh, want to be no. stereotyped. No, 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 no. Okay. We're out of state with Colorado place with that on. You're just mm -hmm. asking for trouble. Look at me, a white male, mm -hmm. and I you know finally I'm 45, and for the first time, I, I believe I <laughs> there, was. I, there is, there I, is always I was a clothing for. Treated like. Uh, <laughs> there is always like a you, clothing that you put on for special occasions or for right. special in Denver, places. In Denver, yeah. Anywhere, oh. yeah, anywhere. Because, yeah. I mean, in California also, they have now the way legalized it. Yeah. So if they wanted to be in an event and they and it's cold, because in California it's also cold, mm. so then you just wear it and have fun, and then you go and get your weed in here or your stack in here, and you will yeah. not be thinking, oh, I want to drop it, but yeah. I'm in the party. It'd okay, be perfect for the question, Arise, no for the Arise yeah. Music yeah, Festival. Yeah. I would have killed or yeah. died for one of those. There we go. That was... Um, yeah, there are opportunities to wear it. Mm -hmm. There will be infinitely. I yeah. encourage. But you know, just we. The point yeah. was just in states like Kansas, where uh, they can be very, very conservative, oh, yeah. and you see Colorado plates coming through there. You're just asking for oh, a well, definitely. Plus, remember mm -hmm. that these ones are my first bulk of jackets that I bring because I'm new in the industry, and the first idea that we had was to put the logos of companies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if they don't want to have a leaf in it there will not be one i mean it's not a, a stay there uh, situation so anything yeah. you want to put on oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, i did a bad job of setting all that up oh geez <laughs> <laughs> plus i know that there are some friends who like to wear the leaf on it and mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. weed so I mean, yeah. there are some of us who like it, and I have some with me. You can contact me at seven two zero three six four two seven five nine. Seven two zero. Or on Facebook too. Or on, and we have the website, mm -hmm. and then we have your website. Yes. And, you're, and I want to encourage you if you're looking for good recipes that are 
out of the norm, like you were telling me you made sweet potato waffles I, had, I, I did make sweet and potato waffles, she didn't bring infused us any, sweet potato just... waffles, um, but the Next recipes time. that are on there, <laughs> but, <laughs> just, I'm just right. playing. I brought caramel stuff. So, yeah. um, the recipes that are on there are very accessible. There's nothing, I'm not a chef. I'm a dang good cook. I'm not yeah, a chef. I hear that. But I want people to be able to replicate everything I do. I want you to be, say, oh, I, I can make that. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Um, we have, uh, I have, um, what is it, uh, cornbread mm -hmm. you know, on there, so, and a sweet potato pie. But those are things I've, I would eat. And I'm looking for, of course, more, you know, sort of healthy things and not just a brownie. I don't even think I have a brownie recipe on there. Right. Because, and that's what interests me is right. you had the healthy versions and, you know, cancer people, people who are on health wellness, they, they don't necessarily want to make a brownie. They want to make something savory right. out of it. I mean, you, you just using making a compound butter right. to put on your steak or chicken or vegetables uh, can be a way of getting, you know, of dosing. Mm -hmm. And it's still savory. I mean, you can make right. sweet butter too, but you can make savory butter. It, yeah. It's I, yeah. I love my little motor pot. It just it got me in the kitchen. It's something I feel passionate about, not insurance. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said you burned out. Um, uh, of of social then, work, yes. But Neil Young said it's better to burn out than to fade away. Well, I, I don't burned. like either of them. I, Mm, I burned out. Yeah, burned out. I, I, but I, I think I lasted a long time because I was able to bounce around in different, you know, with different uh, populations. And who's not excited to work in prison? Come on, right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> that kept me wow. kind of really interested for a while there because there was a lot to learn. A well, I'm gonna hold learn. you to something. What, I, I want to get Vivek CBD, and we're gonna get some cooking on on film. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Let's yes. Do We're it. going to sling some pots yeah. And, 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 yeah, do some. Oh, cooking, absolutely. Some I, I would love it. I mean, I, you know, anybody that is interested in trying to figure out, and, and I'm not feeling like the motor pot is the end all. Mm -hmm. It's an option. Right. It's a dang good option at a $40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know, so, and, and it's, um, we give a lifetime guarantee. There are no moving parts, and you do that right there on your stove, 10 minutes, and you've got um, a quality infused butter, and you're not going to get all of that green chlorophyll and make it taste really overly herbaceous. So you're going to get it, you'll taste the cannabis, but not like, oh, did I just eat a leaf? <laughs> yeah, 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 and I, I, and I that doesn't food make any racket food. either. No, not no. To, I'm not going to down any. But you know, I have a a machine mm -hmm. and it sits on my counter and it vibrates and it makes a god awful bun of racket oh, okay. and I'll, you know oh. that is so much. I sit easier. that in inside the cabinet. Boop. Yeah, after I take it out of the dishwasher because it's dishwasher safe. And really? you know, nobody. Yeah. If you had that All sitting the on your cabinet, coffee pots I've ever or like that. I didn't yeah. have a mocha pot. I had some other, mm -hmm. and they were yes. not dishwasher safe. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was not. It was a different kind of construction. Oh, so yeah, those are. There's stainless only two steel. types of things yeah. to me: dishwasher safe and disposable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I it, when bringing something, an appliance or anything into my kitchen, it really has to make sense um, because. I think I have a more mature kitchen as an older mm -hmm. person, so I'm not just starting out. So I'm very particular about what things, appliances I bring in. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, and I also understand my counter space is like, um, you know, real estate. It's mm -hmm. prime real estate. I don't want anything sitting on my counter that uh, doesn't belong there. I have my KitchenAid mixer because I don't want to keep Me moving too. it. It's Me like, too. okay, I just want to slide it. Yeah. But after that, uh, no. No yeah. major that does not sit on my counter. It's like boop. it's actually smaller yeah. than my mandolin. Well, and you could go you know, the French mandolin to yeah. slice. Next time, bring your man. Oh, I thought you no. meant <laughs> <laughs> different mandolin. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I, I mean, anybody who's interested in trying to cook with cannabis, this is an absolute easy way to to do that because it's it's all done for you, right. except for the decar part. Well, now that you mentioned the Kramer, well, can I just I'm say sorry. this? Yes, sir. I have a call in four minutes, so uh -oh. Oh. Let's what wrap we it up. can do is, well, we've oh. actually this is actually about when we'd start anyway. But um, yeah, I, before we got too much more long winded, one option is that you could just end it, and I could do that call. Okay. You want to do that? We can do that. We can okay. do that. Show me this.
uh, you know, all you all you need to do is uh, just hit that. Oh, oh, that one. Okay, and then yeah. hit done, and then I'll I'll deal with this later. All right. Well, you go ahead. Okay, but I don't have to go ahead yet. I just have all to right. go ahead and and. Uh, Thank you, Lauren. Well, Thank since you we have some people following us, do we have any questions for Caroline on how to use the pot? And this is a delicious caramel. I made hey, these <laughs> Wait, that's yesterday. Hi. Thank these you, are caramels Wayne. I made uh, using my Thank you so pot. much for that yeah. comment. I'll put that back in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't put it in my mouth because it's... I made that mistake one time live. Is oh, that your call? Uh-oh. We no, that's a very interesting call, though. Oh my goodness. Um, nothing to do with the cannabis industry, but uh, I will get back to her later. Yeah, right. Um, what else can you do other than make creamer out of it? Because I, I, I'm a very good cook too. I'm mm -hmm. not a chef, but I'm a really good cook too. Right. Now I'm thinking all the things that you could infuse with that. Um, you can do. You um, could do dried herbs with that and do an yes, infused absolutely. oil. Absolutely, absolutely. If you want to have some dried lavender or, or whatever, too. right? Even if you don't want to use cannabis, any dried herb. Because when I do demos, I use Italian seasoning so people can actually smell it because of the terpenes right. that, that gets transferred. Exactly. So they know it worked. They mm -hmm. know what, what the butter looked like before and uh, after I do the um, extraction and infusion right. and what it smells like after. So they know it happened. Well, and I'm even thinking, like, I like to make my own infused body oils and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, so you can use uh, shea butter and yeah. lanolin in there uh, and coconut oil as far as body oils right mm -hmm. right i it's not been tested for um almond oil or anything like that mm -hmm. but maybe that's something i can ask brandon to do it's well like, hey all right so if you can use olive oil mm -hmm. in there and say all right say we were infusing something for olive oil yes. and use that it would make sense that you could use like avocado oil okay you know, and a yes. light oil like that. And being since it's a more liquid oil, you wouldn't have to use the water, right? Or would I would you? I would use the because you don't want it to burn. Okay. And it, it does require to the, the pressure I mean the steam to push that in up. So I would and you can it, it'll separate in the refrigerator. Right. So right. Yeah, I just don't know as far as the fat content with avocado oil, mm -hmm. where we would put that. Would that be a 60% or a 70% extraction? I don't know. Right. So it, it, that hasn't been tested. Not to say you can't. Mm -hmm. I just can't give you the extraction rates because it's not been tested. Well, I, I tend to, I, you know, I can't leave anything alone. Okay. You know, I, I've play got to it. play with it. It's, it's just yours like, anyway. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm yeah, so I mean, it's just like, why would I bring it in and go and then take it back? Yeah, <laughs> I am so sketchy. happy. I am so happy. <laughs> oh so my sketchy. gosh, because this is this is. I have been eyeing this. Oh, have you? Yes, and I, you know, I'm I was just telling you, the only thing I don't put in the dishwasher is that um, silicone. Um, the ring. The ring. I just um, take it off because all of this will come out. I use a butter knife to get it out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and that Look comes at out. That. Oh. So I put this part, all you know, all of this in a dishwasher. This uh -huh. I wash with a little Dawn and and air dry. Right. right. And then I put it back together. Oh, when that I'm... is so cool. Yeah. So, well, I'm I'm really, my mind is just wisdom. But no, I was really thinking when I looked at it when we were at the um, yeah. at the bazaar. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I could infuse. Um, oils with you know different dried herbs I could infuse oils for body washes mm -hmm. but it, I was telling you what with the Amelia's I like the unscented is oh. probably it's starting to be my favorite okay why because I can put a few drops of it in my hand you know mm -hmm. put the pump in there if you had a few drops of whatever essential oil I'm personally needing for that day mm -hmm. you know maybe there's um I need a little ylang ylang and mm -hmm. maybe a little cedar wood I can customize it and just mm -hmm. kind of rub it together and and wear it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so I mean I I any op, any way or option that people have in creating their own medicine mm -hmm. or whatever they need uh, at home, you're going to save a lot of money. And it's just the pride of doing it yourself and that knowing that you got exactly what you wanted. Right. And 
you you know you don't have to worry about oh are they going to continue selling this or whatever it's like you made it yourself mm -hmm. you can buy terpenes well and you know i i use a lot of essential oils in my mm -hmm. cleaning because you know once you get well i'm very sensitive yes too. i can't even go down the laundry detergent aisle i oh, gotta hold my oh right. it's just mm -hmm. awful so i do a lot of the diy mm -hmm. i even make my own orange oil you know Boom. so you know there's a lot of we have so much options available to us that a mm -hmm. lot of people are putting in their trash cans and it just yes. drives me crazy well, we don't make anything anymore we've stopped we've turned into a society that we just go buy everything we need mm -hmm. and i'm like wait a minute i'm spending a lot of money uh on products it's like i could do that myself and oh i can do i make my own toothpaste my own to uh deodorant yeah i mm -hmm. i just feel like if i can do that myself i'm gonna save myself a little bit of money at least that's what i tell myself well I mean, <laughs> I've, I've gotten to the point where if i can't pronounce it you know cajun accent and you know <laughs> yes. regardless if i can't pronounce it yes then i shouldn't put it on my body and I shouldn't put it in my body, you know, yeah. and that's kind of been my rule of thumb, you know, for a while now. Well, ever since I got a cancer yeah. diagnosis, yeah. it's funny how that makes you go, hey, you know, stop it. You <laughs> <Yeah>. know, <laughs> my friend uh, Sandra H Hinchcliffe, uh, she wrote the book, uh, The Cannabis, Cannabis Spa. Um, but she has severe allergies. Mm -hmm. So she takes um, the use of cannabis uh, and, and infusion to in the uh, allergen um, sort of um, <laughs> community right so it's really just people who want to use cannabis but they also have to be very very careful about what goes into their bodies right so her whole book a, a lot lots of herbs some stuff I've never heard of I'm like oh, what is that yeah um, but just really supporting anybody who's out there trying to, you know, take care of themselves in a way that maybe the pharmaceutical or medical community has not been able to do. Well, and I would tell anybody, you know, if you're going to start using essential oils, trippings, whatever you want to call it, do it respectfully and realize that this is medicine. We mm -hmm. see our terpenes and our cannabis as medicine, mm -hmm. you know, and that's exactly what they are. And things like rosemary, people with epilepsy shouldn't have any rosemary, not, don't be breathing it, don't I did not eat know with that. it. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, you need to be aware of what mm. you are, are breathing in because you need that's, to do a whole class just on yeah. smells. Well, you know, we, yeah. And, People don't give it a lot of uh, clout, I guess you would say, but you know, you th we have brought up the Johnson and Johnson's lavender nighttime bath. Mm -hmm. We know, we know why know. that works. We know why it works. <laughs> it's we not do because Johnson and Johnson's awesome. All right. Well, let's <laughs> recap a little yes. bit. We can get your stuff mm -hmm. at um, your website. Yes, at chronic DIY. It's, it's, it's spelled weird because that's what WordPress required. It's K R A hyphen. N I K hyphen D I Y E R dot com. Chronic DIYer dot com. I, you know, <laughs> I have got to admit, I'm like, I saw that and I'm like, what is she trying to say? <laughs> I know. And I thought it was a, you know, just this clever play on words. Yeah, that's Nobody what I'm Nobody gets like. it. <laughs> Whatever. And I'm going to just keep actually, pushing. It's going to become a thing. It's yeah, gonna it is going to become a thing. <laughs> their, their inability to work with you or, in, or not well, want, you know. Well, most people kind of like, oh, okay, I see it now. You know, right, I'm like. Right. And we can find awesome recipes. And yes. she also has a cookbook. Mm -hmm. And this would be, this is a great gift, mm -hmm. you know. That is a great gift right? for somebody just starting out on, you know, maybe they want to start making their edibles themselves. Yes. Uh, maybe they want to lower their sugar content and, and do more, you know, it's right home. there. Yes. You can make your own tinctures, your own, yeah, you, you know, can't stuff do like your that. Tincture in there. Um, well, I mean, you could wait. Oh, but you yeah. can, yeah, for sure. In general. Uh, yes. <laughs> just to make sure that, you know, you're covered. I make tinctures at home and the edibles and the topicals. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to come up with some more good recipes yes. other than coffee creamer because that's amazing. Yes. That's a great, that's the first thing. I'm, I have some spice chai tea. That's yes. The, and I do have yes. some whipping cream in my Okay. Yes, baby. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, baby. There it is. Uh, uh, yeah. If I, right, get, if I get tired, 
or if I get around my own people and, and I'm hearing it, it, it will start slipping. But y'all would be so tickled with me. Every Thursday morning, I'm practicing my enunciation. <laughs> and I think I have uh -huh. a beat. <laughs> and I know I don't. I know yeah, it's I don't. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like, probably don't have to sound like they're from the Midwest. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's go over your pipes again. And yes. I'm going to slip over here closer yeah. so I can show them. Because I love these pipes. Now, Those are adorable. Yang and yang. Let's see if you can see that. Yes. That neat. It has a little screen in there. And you even, here's something else I like. You can't really tell, but it's shaved off at the bottom. Yes. So it oh, so sits see up. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sits up. Yes. So, and then here's, let me do Danks too. Okay. Then if you want your logo, and I think you've convinced Trav that we need these. Yes. <laughs> I think it, Trav has convinced himself. <laughs> I, I do. And I have one. I, I love mine. And mine is too pretty. You, you ever seen food that was too pretty to eat? Yes. I My pipe anyway. is, yeah. Oh, we just lost our live stream. Uh, oh, well. Well, we still have it recording. <laughs> so we'll save that. And these are oh, the there pipes. It there it is. Oh, we're back again. Hi. Hi we're back. <laughs> um... The nut, there's the little right there. There's your screen on the inside. And these are also shaved on the bottom, so mm -hmm. they sit flat. And so, yeah, there's another one. Oh, I love that design. Look at that, how pretty. All hand carved. Neat. I need to be like on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> your hair's gonna have to be a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, Lord. oh well. Yeah, that's, this is closer than the one I have. The one I have has a falcon's um, headdress on it. Oh. You know, it, it's, it's a warrior with a falcon's headdress yeah. on this seat. Visit me at 15 North Main Street. Street. Next week. Next week. Or, or you can also start calling me, texting me at 720 three six four two seven five nine mm -hmm. so you can have your pipes before they're gone right and your I, jackets and my jackets too but the and if they, they want one that says dank they mm -hmm. can go to dank dispensary yes and, so. and if you want to have your logo types in your in these jackets it's going to take about a month since the order is done and I am here available to receive your call. So start mm -hmm. calling me, 720-364-2759. There yes. you go. And if you don't remember that or didn't catch it, I'm I'm with her a lot. So get in touch with me and I can get to her. Yes. So, well, thank you all so much for joining. This is fun. This is nice. I, I need to make him busy and I can be on shows more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate y'all, and I hope you order some pipes, order the pod, get somebody a w lovely warm jacket, and um, definitely Amelia, our little trial size. That is perfect. I want to say a teacher's gift. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to. It says hemp oil on it. She'll love you for it. So. Give us a call, and you are going to be handling our uh, Beadworks products, too, in your store as well and online. So we'll have that, and I'm going to We're going to sure, make some food. Yeah, we yeah. are going to get show y'all how to do some groceries right, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I I have a sister at heart. She started talking about bacon grease. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's got this little pot right next to the stove. If you don't have that, you're not. Look. People not from the South, mm -mm. you don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Just, and I, you know, I, I, I don't care how you do it. I can get one teaspoon, one spoon of your gumbo, and I can tell what mm -hmm. kind of oil you made your roux out of. Yes. You know, don't be playing that with don't me. Don't be playing. Because <laughs> you don't taste, and there's no depth. Yeah. If you're not using bacon fat, that it just adds this. First of all, calories, but yes. <laughs> but a depth to the food that is just like. Can't replace mm -hmm. that. You can't. You can't turkey your way out of that. You no. Know, no tur turkey bacon does not no. give you that. No. Well, no. let me tell you. I'm learning everything that what you guys are saying. I'm just taking note. Oh, okay. I need to learn all that. So I'm not a very good cooker. Maybe you can come to my house and teach me how to cook. Well, yeah, we yeah, had, had a date, and then I, I think 
either I ended up in the hospital or I don't even remember what happened. Um, oh yeah, your arm. You oh, got your broke, arm broken. Yeah. Arm oh, yes. here. And we oh, couldn't do the empanadas. One of these days. I know we had made yes. a try. I think it was like the day we had talked. Mm -hmm. That was the day I had the accident. Yes. End of March. I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, well, I guess we're not doing that now. No. So. One of these days in, on. Maybe a Cincinnati band or a, well, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll look we'll into it. I know what we need to do before mm -hmm. a normal event, mm -hmm. and then we can make it and we'll bring it to the normal event, and we have everybody to taste test. Yes, that could yeah. also be. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the meantime, <laughs> get your cannabis and your sativa. Yes. Indica. Enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or if you're worried about eyelashes like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't yeah. think about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When I when I look at a pipe, I'm like, That's okay, is this eyelash safety approved? <laughs> you know, because I kind of like them. Yeah. You know, and they take a while to grow. <laughs> so. We have a variety, so it's for everybody's cho choose mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. or choices. Everybody's choices. Yeah. Um, thank you for trying your best here having me <laughs> yes yes thank you for having us thank here you. and showing um the pipes and the motor pot yeah mm -hmm. and yeah, i love that, that amelia the yes. soothing lotion yeah. that yes. i'm 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 happy right now i'm very and doesn't that feel good mm -hmm. yes. you know and i, I wear these even braces. the cuticles mm -hmm. oh, I'm, yeah it's, I'm i would cool. rather use that I have a whole cabinet full of prescription topicals mm. and they don't work for one. Okay. The second reason I don't want to use them is I have small animals that are elderly and it has warnings on there not to handle children and you know, I want, oh my goodness. yeah. And I don't want to put anything on me that, yeah. you know, I, my dog can't lick off. Yes. You know, for sure. and there's for sure. nothing in that bottle of Amelia that I'm going to be calling poison control or the bat or dog something. dog treats? Infused dog treats? Yes, ma'am. You can make your own infused dog mm -hmm. treats with your Motopod. I, I just, when you said your pets, I was like, mm -hmm. yes. Elderly pets. That's yeah. True. Make your yeah. own oil right. for you. Yes. yes. I had a dog. <laughs> well, I do. You can I make wish mine. You can. <laughs> I threaten to steal people's dogs all the time, so don't, don't put your dog in the the crosshairs of me my of my, my uh, <laughs> next hemp creation is going to be a moist dog treat because mm. i you know all the cracker ones my elderly dog doesn't have all of her teeth anymore Aww. so she needs something you know softer oh, so, that's so nice. yeah so we need to make up something with that oh so. for sure for anyway. sure well thank you everybody have a merry christmas be sure to watch for travis and michael miller on tuesdays they're on at 10 o'clock last week we had boo williams of the new orleans saints who that baby <laughs> You know, so you never know who they're going to have on. Um, you never know who I'm going to have on our, you know, set your alerts for us. We have industry leaders. We have pioneers. We have just so many fascinating people. They don't necessarily touch the plant, you know, but they definitely work with it and, and uh, want to be part of our cannabis family. Well, so. People forget really sort of how broad it is yeah um and different aspects of the cannabis industry whatever you would find in the regular mm -hmm. world it's right here yeah. it's just very you know sort of focused on cannabis and or hemp right um so if you're interested in getting into the industry it's like what are you doing now there's right. there's probably a space for you here yeah well i tell people all the time oh i want to come out and be in the industry and i'm like well what are you now yes because we still need our hair done we need our nails done we need our cars fixed we need plumbers we, you know and all mm -hmm. of that other things you know come out here and you be you yeah. in the cannabis industry and just and that's what the thursday show is about it's cannabis and yeah. everything else yes. you know the new coming ideas yes see because everybody's bringing that new yes. ideas see? i know oh. i mean just the thickness of it is just mm -hmm. like that because yes. i don't like coats it's no it's coming 
It's yeah. coming, coming very yes. soon, so be ready, be warm. <laughs> oh, and I wanted, we were supposed to have Sam Proc on today, oh, and yeah. she wasn't feeling well. Hey, Sam. And so shout out to Sam. We miss her. We'll have her back on. And she has some hats that will go great with this jacket. Ah. <laughs> absolutely. That's, absolutely. That's cool. Look at there. So, All right. Put a little pocket on this side, too. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. It was good to see you. Hi. Good to see you, too. I'll again. see you next week, though. Yes. yes. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Let me see if I can get this, too. There we go. My lap has been very warm. I just kind of folded this because <laughs> I can't fit it. It's just kind of just like. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pop one of these in my mouth. Yes. Because okay. I've been. Pop one Can in I have one? Uh -huh. yes. You should pop one in your mouth. Okay. Yes. I'm going to pop one too. It will continue to grow, oh, sorry. and I'll share it now mm -hmm. that we've done it. Mm. Share it on your social media. Mm -hmm. Um. I she, has, <laughs> she has a really good job with her flyer, her newsletter. Mm, okay. And put a link on that. Okay. Because they have to get her newsletter all the time. Oh. Sit tight. Uh-oh. I forgot. <laughs> oh, here, baby. I don't think she got Because I'll hold on to it and it was like, oh, I don't want you to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. So why did you decide to do a store? It was just the next next thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I sometimes I don't know if I wanted to say things and that's why I stopped. Mm -hmm. And people might think that she forgot. It's not that I didn't forget, it's just that I'm, I'm, I don't know if I wanted to say it or not. Mm -hmm. But anyhow. Hey. She's never Hi. Ended, ended the show. Oh, no, I need you no. guys to sign this. Oh. Looks mm -hmm. like the live video has mm -hmm. has ended. Yeah. And um, good because we're gonna stop streaming. Show.